Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Nun Skull Rum. Dun, dun, dun. Original. According to the bottle, Caribbean rum with natural, natural tropical fruit flavors and artificial coloring. 15% alcohol by volume, one liter. Ah, Numbskull. Made for Numbskull by Numbskulls. That's nice. All right, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah. Bottled by Midwest Custom Bottling, Wisconsin. Produced by Numbskull Beverage Company, LLC. Well, Wisconsin, you say. At least that's the bottling. Usually bottling and production are fairly close. Not always, but I mean, after what are you going to do? Uh, you know, think too smart, you're going to go and turn that there. So you can uh, make it and then ship it halfway across the country. Just have it bottled. Odds are you're going to have a bottling company somewhere in your midst. It may not be the same city, but you know, sure, we're going to go ship it all the way from New Haven to Texas. No, I'm willing to bet this is also Wisconsin. Somewhere in Wisconsin. Did I bother checking the... That's hilarious. I wonder what that was. I think it's a band-aid on the skull. If I didn't know about it, it's a cross of two band-aids. Hmm. Oh, well. So, every once in a while I will try this before doing a review. I like to... I prefer to do these reviews as I am trying it originally, but in this case, just you know, come on, too cool, right? So I had to give it a try ahead of time. Uh, the missus got a hold of it, opened it up, and gave out a yelp when she saw it. Not what she expected. I'm expecting regular rum. I forgot to read the fruit flavor part of it, and our well, it's an artificial color. That's in a lot of different spirits, but in this case, check that out. <laughs> so artificial fruit flavor, I'm thinking, oh, they added you know, some coconut here, some berries there, so gonna be this brown gold traditional, uh, yeah, hmm, not really. Now, I was telling the missus about a drink, a cocktail, that looks similar to this in the beginning, but gets a little bit darker, and it's Hawaiian Punch, uh, one part Hawaiian Punch, one part vodka, and one part, I can't think of the, what the, uh, the syrup solution is. It's just like a drop or two into it that gives it even a, a darker red, and it's uh, cleverly called Blood of the Innocents. It's one of those Halloween type drinks. This looks like it's halfway there. It just needs the, the drops added to it. And for the life of me, I just can't remember what, what it's called. It's, it's a very common bar. Um, it's not even, even liqueur. It's just um, it's a simple sugar solution that's dark red. I feel silly for not remembering it. But let us run this through through its paces. It looks like Uh, Hawaiian Punch. That's been watered down. Let me give it a spin. And... It... It, it doesn't want a leg. It doesn't want a tear. It doesn't want a leg. Maybe it wants to be on top of a motorcycle. You guys didn't hear that. An idiot on a motorcycle. But no, it just drops boom, immediately. Hmm. The reason for the, the spin is twofold. Uh, one is to see how much sugar is in solution. Uh, the more sugar is still left in solution after all the processing and everything else. It usually indicates a sweeter, because it makes it stickier, so it's sugar. Kind of like, I think, uh, a much more of a syrupy mouthfeel or heavier mouthfeel. Also, given it a spin, 
will help with the uh, the nose. You can see how it tapers up, helps with the nose. So we give it a spin to spread the solution up the sides. More surface to air uh, contact helps with the uh, the nose part. But man, it runs down so fast. There's no there's no real legging or Let's see what you guys see. And nothing on your end either that I can tell. All right, nose test. Um, toss up between Hawaiian Punch and Juicy Fruit Gum. Yep, with a hint of alcohol. Just, just a hint. No bite, no burn. There you go. Now this is where it gets bad. And I mean wicked. Just yeah. It's a very, very light mouthfeel. Lots of sweet flavor. Lots of berry. Uh think raspberry, think strawberries. A hint of banana, maybe. If I'm from following the, my taste buds right. What else did this thing say? Just somebody said fruit flavors and artificial color. Tropical fruits? I don't know about tropical, but definitely berries. Um, spices? No, none. There is a stray shimmer a uh, shadow of a burn on the tongue along the back of the palate as you can tell this is not berry juice just by that sheer reaction alone it's it doesn't bite but it does have a widespread burn it says here 13 percent alcohol by volume uh, would 13 or 15. Can never read these things right. Ha! Huh, sorry, fifteen. So it's, eh, it's on the lighter end, but it's not child's play either. So it would comply with that burn. What makes it dangerous? What makes it wicked? What makes it on the bad side? Is that if you add an ice cube to this? That would trim out that burn immediately. Without that burn, this is fruit juice. Now, why does that make that bad? Why would that be such a terrible thing to have it so, you know, there's no bite to it, no burn to it. It's just it's like, it's like fruit juice. You down this in seconds. Oh yeah, just put this put this in a slushy, just like crushed ice, and just pour this over it. And nothing else. You wake up on the floor in a heartbeat. This you taste nothing that would slow you down if you had just a, a hint of that cold, and that cold trims out uh, sharp edges. So if, if you ever have an alcohol that's got a bit of a bite or a burn, add an ice cube to it. It'll knock, it may, won't get rid of it, but it'll knock that sharp out, or knock that sharp down a peg or two. This only has enough sharp edges on it to have a peg or two. Yeah, one ice cube, two ice cubes. Put this into a slushy. You would never even know that it was an alcoholic drink. So, and with that, that makes this dangerous. Because you would sip down half this bottle and not even know it except you may not be able to feel your feet that would be the only hint that he has something alcoholic try it see what you guys think see if it's as, as dangerous as I am uh, proposing it would be this is numbskull original 
So I'm back with it again. Made for numbskulls by numbskulls. Uh, any comment about this particular product? Down below. Warmly accepted as always. Or better yet, go out and buy it and try it. And let the rest of us in the YouTube Spirits community know your thoughts about Numbskull Rum. And like I said, the police coming on hard. Think of it ice cold without that taste of the alcohol. And see if, see if, if my assessment's right. This can be a dangerous drink. Until next time, keep on drinking.